Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Arch Nemesis League 3.17. In this episode, I'm going to be crafting uh, a Grasping Mail. Uh, this one is Chaos Damage is not bypass Energy Shield while not on low life. It's not the one I'm going to be crafting. I just wanted to start it off by showing you um, a Fractured One. This is item level 86. Uh, I wanted to show you how you actually get this base, how you would get a fractured of one of these and the item level and how all of this works to get these grasping males in the first place because you may not even know. Um, so, first of all, you could buy a grasping male with 100% global defense. This is the mod we, we want on this. You can only get this on skin of the lords or grasping male and you can only get this from randomly rolled, like if you use a chaos orb, um, if you come back in game, and you regal and you chaos orb this no matter what you do you can't roll these special mods the only way to get the special mod is when you get the grasping mail so how do you get the grasping mail uh this is actually a vendor recipe you you vendor so you take breach rings uh and then the item level will dictate what level the grasping mail is so to get an 86, you need 86. There's something special about 86, but first I'll tell you about, let's say, 83s or 85s. So uh, most of them are going to be 83 because you get them from normal maps, normal breaches, normal blight, etc., right? Uh, sometimes uber blight, 85, and then uh, you turn these in and you can get these ones where you get like a regular mods see how it's chaos damage does not bypass and it's not fractured and you see 100% global defense not fractured 13x just for global defense 14x and then people will take this and they'll use harvest to fracture it so there's a harvest craft I don't have it right now but you would um, fracture one of three prefixes or one of three suffixes or one of five of the mods and in this case it is uh, that is a prefix let me show you so you would do one of three prefix or uh, because the base is so expensive, it's probably better than doing one in five because you don't want to waste an extra two of these, which is 26 X. Um, so you could take item level 83 global defenses mod and fracture it. The other alternative is I'll show you when you do grasping mail 86, uh, it always has a fractured mod guaranteed. And then you'll say, but how do you get a fra How do you get the 86? You have to get 86 um breach rings which comes from tujin or uh pure chayula the uh, sorry the super flawless chayula the flawless pure chayula the new one um so the highest level chayula breach and uh and then you can get automatic fractured mod and then i show you this is what i did um i bought this fractured global defenses 118 123 123 I got it for 108 so it was pretty good because I figured it was going to be more expensive I, I knew because the base was so expensive and the fractures are like 10x for the 1 in 5 and 20x for the 1 in 3 so it's like 60x just in fractureds and not counting the failed bases too um and let's say you take three of those bases there's another 40x yep uh, and then this is already fractured guaranteed and it, the 86 base is actually better too um, for crafting on and so that's actually how you get it so you have two ways basically item level 86 breach rings um, or fracturing the global defenses on another one whichever one's cheaper uh, so after fracturing the mod I'm going to be using these loathing essences to get um, mana reservation efficiency of skills and I'm going to try to hit spell suppression T1. I just yeah as long as you don't brick me with like a reflex fizz or cannot regen or reduce recovery. Oh my god! Oh my god! We just looked at how rare this is. Boom! Yes! And it open suffix! Open suffix! I win! I win! I'm making a mere chest plate! I'm making a mere chest T5. That's a, that's the lowest it could be, but it's 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 good. It's not scammed. Holy shit. That's so scary. I could do that. Okay, no one no one's saying it. We're doing the veiled chaos orb. Boom. Open prefix. I can craft a block. Oh my god, it gets even more interesting. This chest plate, man. 
Holy shit! Again, this shit. This one, I guess, is literally useless. The other one, at least, is mana, but would I even keep that? Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh shit, Veil. Imagine I sold it. There's so many ways to do this better, like before Veil, keep, suffix, reforge, life, more common for life. Then, Ashling. CI. Yeah. Avoid elemental ailments. 35. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 35. 35. 35. Do it. Boom. Yes. I'm so good at this game. My build. Oh my god. It's coming together. That's weird. Yeah, I got it. Or both conflict. Exceptional. Grand. Exceptional. Exquisite. Here we go again. Boom. I uh, ruined my six socket, six link, I have to fix it. Fix. <laughs> now the six link. So to fix it, I turn them all red, and then I should be able to make white sockets still, and so I should be able to bypass the blue sockets with white sockets. I, I used regular chrome, I just spammed chrome on it, I didn't use a recipe, just one chrome. I did like five chrome and it worked. I'll show you this time how I did the chrome, so it literally just regular chrome, and uh, when you fail a white socket, you can actually, yeah, just redo it, and uh, it isn't that hard. You can see we never hit blue. There we go. Alright. Trading my chest plate. Oh god, Monka S. No scammerino. No. What the fuck? Yes. Uh rerolling the Eater of Worlds influence. Boom. Uh, pride aura effect in the range of a unique enemy. Fuck! I need the other one. Reduce reflect, mana recovery. Pride, done. There it is. Oh my god, nice. Oh, that's sick. 27% pride. So let's get perfect. There it is. That looks so sick. We just need the um, 30... What is it? Uh, with... The boot is 35, 67, so we need 33 avoid elemental ailments on the prefix. It's just one divine of the prefix. Damn, dude, that's so sick. Oh, well, that's how I crafted the chest plate. That's fucking beautiful. <laughs> so now I've taken this item and I've put it into a build. Uh, this is my example build. Uh, this is what I've been looking at, trying to figure out if uh, if it's any good. So, in this in this build, this chest plate, um, if I take it off, <laughs> uh, and then put it back, okay. So it's equivalent to um, ri ridiculous tankiness, reserve mana, sixteen hundred ES, one hundred thirty ES regen, seventeen thousand evasion, forty one thousand armor. Um, and 1.2 million total DPS. So when I add this in, uh, I'll show you the tankiness against Cyrus if Cyrus was level 100. Um, and so you can see here, mitigated hits 100. Um, and so I can just apparently tank 176 hits 
and uh, the time before death is 123 seconds. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you were just trying to tank hits, like actual hits getting hit, then you can only tank two. But uh, it seems really insane with all the mitigation. And then even with 100 Delhi, level 100 Cyrus, I can hit, get hit 14 times, which is 9 seconds. Basically, immortality. Um, and so if I didn't have the chest plate, just the chest plate. So it still has 88 reses, um, immune to chaos, and then the physical damage reduction. Just this literally changes it. Uh, five hits before death, um, you're dead. And you survive for three and a half seconds. This isn't even the 100 Delhi. This was just the 100 Cyrus. So the, um, the chest plate is the whole build, basically. It's actually disgusting. We built around the chest plate. It is so ultra tanky. This is probably the, the tankiest thing I've ever created. Um, and it's this chest plate. And, it, and it, you could build it differently too. It doesn't have to have avoid elemental ailments. It could have more energy shield. It could have increased armor, evasion, energy shield, etc. There's so many cool things you can do because they're defenses. And then you could actually have discipline or effect as well instead of pride. Or you could have increased energy shield I showed instead of pride. Uh, there's other options. Uh, really, 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 really powerful chest plate. Really strong, and uh, it's really funny to see how tanky uh, we we get it in in POB against a hundred Delhi hunt level a hundred Cyrus. Like what? What is that? That's insane. Um, nice. Well, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, chest plate crafting video. Pretty much the most insane body armor I've ever crafted. Uh, it's ultra tank and. Uh, what else can we do this season, dude? This is just one. This is just one thing. One item. Absolutely bonkers. I want to do big deeps now. Big tank is hilarious, but but you can't... Dude, this doesn't kill anything. It's just tanky. Who cared? <laughs> now we need the damage. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you could learn anything new from this uh, video. Maybe this gave you inspiration for something else you could craft with similar methods. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And thank you guys for all the support. Let's get 65 likes on this video. Thank you guys for all the support. And uh, let's. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.